Hey, it's Embrix with another mock, but before doing, uh, showing you my actual mock, um, here's the wreckage, all those pieces, all over the floor, right there. But um, the mock itself, I started building on a base plate, though it's definitely not gonna stay on a base plate. The base plate is from my city minifigures display, so I need to free that up. I said I was working on a mid-scale Star Wars ship, the Millennium Falcon, if you can guess. Um, so yeah, it's on just some handful of some transparent pieces down there. And those definitely, again, need to come out. Um, it's very much reminiscent of the Force Awakens one. Uh, like, a lot of the builds I've actually stolen from there. And I'm completely fine with that. I don't feel like I cheated myself a build process or anything. The thing is, that's a very good building technique but the reason i can't just buy that set is because it's obviously off the market i could buy it on the aftermarket but it's a lot and i want a mid-scale millennium falcon that one would be like here to here this tall you know with the lying skids and everything and this is more mid-scale like a figure can't even stand inside it but they can sit and that's the main purpose and i actually had this idea um yesterday and that is when i started building it so yeah this is um from just two days of working on it. I got a bit of the kind of overall shape. I like how the back is going more so than the front. The front doesn't look all that good. Just got a handful of pieces to the side, some different wing options, but. So yeah, there's the, and uh, of course it's a work in progress, you know. Um, all these colors are gonna be changed out. It's definitely not complete, but I'm gonna use like the one by two modified pieces with these uh two kind of a bars at the end here i have a one by two with one bar at the end and i just stack those two on top but once i do an order i'm gonna get a one by two with two of those bars at the end as one piece so the engine i made in a lot of transparent bricks they're all going to be like this not studs but studs are just temporary and that is exactly how long it's going to fill in and i'm going to have a lot of these sort of silver grating pieces that is going to be changed out and um this assembly itself is just done with a lot of clips and yeah, there's a gap there, but you can't really see it because I added a bunch of one by one bricks and to continue with the round uh, feel, I just put one by one bricks and I'll show that later. And I'm gonna have to add tiles on it, but once the thing is all covered up, just like the Force Awakens one, it's gonna open up easily to give you some access to the interior, which isn't designed yet. but. Uh, that's the first place it's holding and that's gonna I'm gonna fix that up and make it more of a kind of Indian space at the end like the Force Awakens one uh, one by one with a stud at the side on either side to hold this assembly you see how it's just connected and then you got some of these kind of turntable pieces though just this one to hold that in that's pretty nice um, and there's how the one by one looks again with the one by one tile it will look better and then the inside, I still have to work out interior details. So again, the back of the thing is basically done. But the front is the more complex part. Here, um, I have some bricks to help uh, keep the thing together, though this will be coming down to be a ramp. I have to do the bottom stuff, like the bottom gun, the um, landing platforms. But again, I'm not too happy with how the front's coming out. I don't even know how, um, I'll talk about that later actually, but this whole section, I think it's too close. I think I need more of a gap and yeah this doesn't look good it's like it's too blockish here it's supposed to be um just like this just a wing but if i was from lego you know if i could order any amount of pieces i'd have just one by one uh one by eight wings stacked on top of each other to give that nice um look but uh, as it stands now it's not that well i did look at the millennium falcon force awakens instructions so I took a lot of inspiration off that, obviously. But the spring-loaded shooter, which I tried to integrate in, does come out. So you push, sorry about my finger. You push down on just that tiny thing. And it would come out, but the spring-loaded shooter I'm using right now is broken in the spring part. But yeah, you know, I really like that technique I came up with. Like, where was it? So here, these are actually uh, sideways and I connect them with um, just a one by two. You know, they're the sideways bricks. I can show that um, later on, probably in the next update. I want to save that for another thing, but not for this. Yeah, that's just way too blockish and round, and it shouldn't be. Uh, I need more of a gap, 
and I need this sort of walkway that comes out a bit further. Uh, I got the nice round shaping though. It will be, eh, no, it will actually be fine. You know, I'm gonna bring this same kind of system along until here, bring it from here along until here, and then uh, it's gonna cut off, and here will be the, again, the walkway. These will be the two fins that come out, and then right here, I will be attaching the kind of a cockpit. Now, here's the thing. It's grabbing a ton of pieces. For the first Awakens one, here's what they use. Hmm, sorry about that, but I have a strict rule not to modify sets or anything, but um, I didn't break that, but just wanted to let you guys know that. But anyway, see this kind of piece, see how big it is? Because that's a bigger scale, so it was a lot easier. Actually, um, even though I stole a lot of builds, like this turret that can move and go up and down from the Force Awakens set, um, it's very hard to size it down, surprisingly. Almost as hard as coming up with a completely brand new build. And I modified a lot of stuff, like the whole connecting system and just uh, different things. So I think it's actually as hard as if I came up with the design uh, myself, work-wise. So I feel like if I came up with... So here's the thing, if I came up with the design myself, it would not look as good as a finished project, I hope will. But if I didn't, but whether or not I came up with the design myself, I think uh, it would have been the same amount of work as sizing it down. But anyway, back to this. Um, you can see how um, the top right here is a four by four in length, rounded of course, but a four by four, right? And then the bottom right here, the bigger section, because these are cone pieces, is an eight by eight. See, what would be ideal for this uh, mid-scale, kind of like the slave one from the Master Builders Cloud City, would be for this kind of ending of the cone to be a two by two, like just this wide, a two by two, and then the back to be a four by four. So yeah, the back to be this size right here. Um, and obviously, if LEGO were making the set, they could easily just make newer, smaller cone pieces and be done with that and then it would be easier. So I, I definitely don't know how I'm gonna do the canopy. Again, I'm so happy with how the back is turning out. Um, though the front, uh, I, I don't know, it can um, still use a lot of work, I feel. Oh, and by the way, to get a lot of these triangular pieces, remember my um, kind of arena mock? Go check out that video. But I had stands and it was basically these attached to the triangular pieces. But yeah, I'm taking those apart and not putting them back together because I need the triangle pieces and those stands weren't really that helpful. Though this I can use for stop motion of all sorts. So, and you know, it seems pretty, um, it's a good challenge. And uh, just overall, I really like how um, these two days have went. It just looks like a lot of uh, progress has went by. But yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.